Dear students, Welcome to chemistry class after summer break. Hope you all are doing well. I hope all of you have completed your homework. Dear students, before we start let us have a quick review of chapter 9. In our previous lessons we discussed the following topics. What are salts? Properties of salts. How salts are named. Different methods of preparation of salts. Learning objectives. At the end of the lesson you will be able to understand. How salts are used to prepare other chemicals through electrolysis. What are fertilizers and which salts are used as fertilizers. What is agricultural lime and how it benefits the soil. Salts are used in various ways in our daily life. There are different types of salts used for different purposes. For example on earth the most important salt is sodium chloride, it is also known as common salt. It is present in sea water and underground as rock salt. Uses We obtain different chemicals like chlorine gas, hydrogen gas and sodium hydroxide from sodium chloride through the process of electrolysis. Through the process of electrolysis of sodium chloride in water we obtain other chemical substances. Electrolysis is a process in which when current passes through an aqueous solution of an electrolyte, ions are produced which further leads to formation of new compounds. In this process here we get chlorine gas at anode, hydrogen gas at cathode and sodium hydroxide in aqueous solution. Uses of chlorine, hydrogen and sodium hydroxide. Chlorine. Chlorine is used to purify water. Chlorine is used in making other chemicals like bleach, hydrochloric acid and plastic. Hydrogen. It is used as a fuel. When hydrogen reacts with nitrogen, forms ammonia. When hydrogen is passed through vegetable oil it is converted into margarine. Sodium hydroxide. It is a strong alkali used in making soap and paper. Many salts are used as fertilizers. Do you know what are fertilizers? A fertilizer or is any material of natural or synthetic origin that is applied to soil or to plant tissues to supply one or more plant nutrients essential to the growth of plants. Qualities of a good fertilizer. A good fertilizer may contain elements like nitrogen, sulfur, calcium, sodium and potassium depending upon its nature and requirement. These elements help the plants to grow well and keep them healthy. A good fertilizer must be cheap to produce and easily soluble in water. Examples of salts as fertilizers Ammonium nitrate is used as a useful fertilizer. It is prepared by reacting ammonia with nitric acid. Using ammonium nitrate in gardens and large-scale agricultural fields enhances plant growth and provides a ready supply of nitrogen. Some other examples of salts used as fertilizers. Calcium nitrate. Sodium nitrate. Ammonium phosphate. Ammonium sulfate. Potassium sulfate. Agricultural Lime Dear students you can see a white solid in the picture. This white solid is agricultural lime. Let us talk about it in little detail. What is agricultural lime? It is a soil additive made up of crushed limestone I.T. E. calcium carbonate. Additional chemicals like calcium oxide magnesium oxide and magnesium carbonate may be present depending from where limestone is obtained benefits effects of agriculture lime on soil it increases ph of acidic soil making it more alkaline it provides calcium and magnesium to plants it improves drainage in heavy soils in today's lesson we learned how salts are used to prepare other chemical products through electrolysis. 
What are fertilizers and how they are useful for crops? What is agriculture lime and how it benefits the soil? Complete the worksheet provided along with a lesson. The worksheet contains exercise questions of chapter number 9 from 1 to 4. Go through the lesson and video lecture and find answers. Dear students that's all for today, hope you understood the topic. Allah Hafiz